Good, good evening. I'd like to call to order um, Concord Township Board of Trustees meeting. No. We'll be starting with a public hearing on uh, street lighting for Quail Hollow um, number 10, phase two. So before we get our regular meeting started, we'll do that. Uh, is there anybody here? Oh, go ahead. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and start this. Um, the developer did uh, contact me today and ask if it was imperative that he attend and like indicated that what well, we'd love to see him. It probably wasn't, but he filed paperwork in my office on June 23rd, uh, he sent a map and a request for one street light on Duck Blind Court um, off of Hunting Lake Drive in Cocker Township. It is um, Quail Hollow ten, number 10, phase two. So he sent that in. Um, immediately after receiving that, I notified the trustees on June 23rd that a petition for street lighting in an unincorporated district Whale Hollow number 10 phase two by Hunting Lake Properties LLC and I attached the copy and sent it to you via email. Um, we then went ahead and filed a notice on hearing on street lighting petition with the News Herald um, that there was going to be a public hearing today at 7.30 p.m. at Crockett Town Hall. Again, for the one additional street light. He has already developed two phases um, there were five street lights in the one on Hunting Lake Drive, which you approved uh, in September of 2020. And there was six that were approved by this board um, that was submitted in April of 2020. Those were also on Hunting Lake Drive. So this is a tiny little call. This is a small cul-de-sac um, jutting right off of that. And I guess um, he's requesting one light because it was darker than they thought. So, you have any questions? No. All right. Is there? I, I'll just go ahead. If there's anybody in the audience that has a would like to speak on this matter, one way or the other. All right, seeing none, we will uh, go ahead and, and close the public hearing. Thank you. And with that, we'll call to order the Concord Township Board of Trustee meeting for uh, Wednesday, July 7, 2021. Would you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Mrs. Lucci. Present. Mr. Dondorfer. Present. Mr. McIntosh. Present. Next order of business is the approval of the minutes, and we did have a special meeting, a public hearing, and another special meeting, a regular trustee meeting. So. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the June 16, 2021 special meeting with Chardon Township minutes. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to approve the June 16th, 2021 public hearing. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Mr. Chairman, I approve, uh, move to approve the minutes for the June 16th, 2021 regular trustees meeting. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And Mr. Chairman, I move, make a motion to approve the June 28th, 2021 special meeting, the continuation of a public hearing. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, now moving on to elected officials reports. This will ask Amy Dawson. Thank you, Mr. McIntosh. As of June 30th, we were 50% of the way through the calendar year. The treasury <coughs> balance for the 19 active funds within the township treasury was $14.9 million. Treasury balance includes approximately $2 million in funds set aside for specific projects. Year to date expenditures as of June 30th are 26% of the amount appropriated for 20. 2021. The revenue received year to date is 72%, so we are well within budget. This evening, I'm requesting that the trustees vote in favor of revised permanent appropriations for 2021. An amended certificate of estimated resources was approved by the Budget Commission on June 7th, 2021. It reflects the bond proceeds plus the premium we received at the beginning of June. We set aside a million dollars to 
as a start to fund Fire Station 2 and $7 million of the bond proceeds for Fire Station 1. We were also able to use the premium to pay for all associated costs of this issuance. The permanent appropriations need to reflect these changes from February. Finally, we will have to do this all over again if and when we receive American Recovery Plan Act funding. If you have any additional financial questions, please do not hesitate to call my office, 3547516. So basically, the, the main amendment that we're making to the revised appropriations um, is because we got more money in and we put it in different places. So I can't spend $8 million out of um, the capital projects fund because we needed to set aside uh, per legal advice at least a million dollars for fire station two. So we went ahead and did that. So all I'm doing is reflecting the changes that um, we've already talked about. That's my report. All right, thank you. Uh, trustees, Amy Ritchie. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We've had some fun concerts the last couple weeks. Enjoyed the summer concert series at the town hall. Thank you to the recreation department for putting that on. Lots of good food, lots of good uh, um, bands, and thank you very much to our sponsors. And we look forward to the, the upcoming concerts as well. Um, I did have a few phone calls from residents the last couple weeks um, with the heavy storms we had last week. Uh, one of my one of my uh, neighbor residents actually had some water issues that were kind of helping him navigate through. Um, I had some questions about some of the new road construction, 608 and Cryo Road, and helping some of the the residents there kind of understand what that's going to look like in the next week or two. A uh, resident called with some issues regarding speeding on Girdled, which Sergeant Falby helped me deal with that. Thank you very much. And. Um, I believe that's about it. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Dondosper. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, hope everybody enjoyed their Fourth of July holiday. Um, with that, a um, uh, little update on Lucky's. There's been a lot of activity going on over there. Um, it's exciting to see um, such a um, great amount of work being done over there in anticipation of the opening at the end of the summer here. Um, they are also um, working on uh, Crow Road, round that road down, and working on Route 608, so those road projects are moving along. I did take a uh, call from a resident um, in Concord off of Prouty Road regarding some trespassing issues she's had that have persisted on her property. She's got a, uh, a pond and there's been some activity of people coming in from a private access driveway using it to fish. So um, I worked with Sergeant and Falvey on some notifications um, and monitoring that activity over there for her. Um, great summer concert series, as you said, Mrs. Lucci, that is continuing tomorrow. So hopefully we'll be able to get that in, right? Fingers crossed with the weather, but uh, we all plan on being there. It's been, a, it's been a great to see everybody from Concord attending those and they're very well received. It's great to see everybody back enjoying that, um, and that those concerts here in town hall. So we hope we get that one in tomorrow. Um, I'd like to thank our uh, service department, uh, the road projects they've been working on. Cherry Hill I went and visited, as well as Fay Road. Both of those projects look very well. I spoke with some residents on Cherry Hill who were um, extremely um, pleased with the results of the, uh, the paving project there. So thank you, Mr. Brown and your staff for, for working on that. Great job. Um, I think with that, that's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Well, it's been great to be back at the summer concerts. I've enjoyed being out, seeing the crowds. We've had some great bands uh, playing. I know this week we've got one that's quite popular. It's going to, I think, be a pretty big draw. So that's that's exciting. Uh, road construction, of course. Yeah, the, the I, I've been on Cherry Hill and Fay Road as well, and it's so nice to see those roads repaired. They were both in really uh, desperate need for it. I did have some requests and did talk with Sergeant Falvey about um, some speeding on 608. Um, I know that that's a big mix, thorough through. Uh, countywide as far as in the township and there's a lot of traffic on there and so we've had some requests for some speed patrol there uh, I continue to get questions about the trash hauler uh, proposal the idea that we're kicking around doing that the recycle bins and the yard waste have had a couple calls about that um, did did receive a phone call about fireworks uh, on was the eve of 4th of July I guess it wasn't actually on the 4th but uh, did have to uh, talk to residents about that 
and I've been spending a little bit of time with uh, one of the developers who's working on the next phase of Quail and a couple of residents that have had some concerns there. We're trying to work through some issues and I think that's going fairly well. So um, it didn't take a lot of time. And of course the fire station project, we had some good conversation in our staff meeting. Um, and we're gonna hear from our owner's rep and the chief today on that. So um, it's been a very, uh, very busy summer so far after uh, a year later. I'm right. much, it wasn't busy last year, so. Um, that concludes my report, and so we'll move into the department reports for the evening and uh, Administrator Rose. Thank you, Mr. McIntosh, members of the board, Mrs. Dawson, members of the audience, good evening. Uh, on tonight's agenda, there's a few things I'd like to cover. Uh, item B is a resolution that would authorize me to uh, sign the Memorandum of Understanding with the Lake County Land Reutilization Corporation, otherwise known as the Lake County Land Bank. Um, we've had the MOU in place for many, many years since the land bank started. Uh, the land bank is updating all the MOUs with current elected officials throughout the county. Um, and we did have the MOU review by legal counsel, so I uh, recommend passage of that. Uh, item C is a resolution which grants permission to advertise for bids on the fire stations project. Um, you know. For everybody listening or watching, this, this does not mean we're going out for bid tomorrow. This simply gives us permission to move forward when the trustees are ready, and we don't have to wait for the next meeting once that decision is made to get the procedural resolution drafted and then presented, and it will, it will save some time. A um, couple of other items. Uh, everybody's covered Crowell Road, but uh, I just want to remind everybody, all of our businesses are open. All of our businesses are accessible. Uh, I stopped in to visit several today, and they report that things are going well. Um, and several mentioned that they're happy that they're getting a turn lane, and they think that that will really improve uh, the traffic conditions in front of their businesses. So I just ask everyone to be patient and continue to support our local businesses. <clears throat> um, and then I now I want to shift to the uh, township-wide uh, trash contract that we've been discussing for a good deal of time. But uh, <clears throat> the proposal for a township-wide trash contract, it's, it's drawn quite a few comments from our residents since our, our last update and our last discussion about this. Um, surprisingly, many of the calls that I've fielded um, are, are against the initiative. Uh, and I've, I've talked with some of you as you as you stopped into town hall. And I understand that you've had similar results with calls and comments that you've received. Um, while I do think this is a great way to increase services for our residents, it reduces the number of trash trucks on our roads, and it likely saves some of most of our residents' money. Uh, based on the feedback, I, I think we need to put this idea on the shelf, and then we can come back in a year or two and reevaluate it. Um, so that's my recommendation for now is to, is based on all the um, negative comments, I, I I, I think we need to shelve this. Uh, we can revisit it in a year, maybe two, and uh, go back out and see what the community thinks. Um, and I'm gonna end on a positive note. Uh, finally, um, I look forward, and I'll echo what the, everyone else has said, I look forward to seeing everyone at the Thursday evening concerts at the gazebo. I think they're, it's terrific to have them back. Rec does a great job. Our, our sponsors have been wonderful, and we thank them uh, for the ability to put these on. And that, uh, that concludes my report, so thank you, sir. Thank you, thank Mr. You. Rose. Uh, next, uh, Fire Department report, uh, Chief Sable. Hello, everyone. Um, for the month of June, we had a total of 245 incidents. Uh, we had 151 EMS events with 114 transports to local hospitals. On the fire side, we had eight Strike that, I didn't update that, that's not correct. Uh, inside of Concord, we had one structure fire, one vehicle fire, and one grass fire. And outside of Concord, we assisted Chardon Fire Department uh, on a structure fire in their jurisdiction. Uh, we gave mutual aid 23 times, we received mutual aid 13 times. Uh, the month of June was very busy for the Fire Prevention Bureau. They completed 81 inspections, accounting for approximately 121 hours. 
Uh, they also did eight plan reviews, accounting for about 30 hours. And they used about 20 hours for training and continuing education. Our Fire Prevention Bureau is very aggressive in engaging with the duty crew uh, and getting out in the businesses and educating our firefighters on fire prevention activities in the township. So that's a, a good collaboration. Uh, public education, uh, we had three residential Knox boxes returned. Uh, Concord Fire Department would like to acknowledge the outstanding performance of not only our firefighters, but also that of Deputy Roland of the Lake County Sheriff's Office while he was out on patrol in Concord Township early this morning. Uh, I realize this is a June report and this is July, but it's right. relevant. It's so deputies regularly perform business checks in our community to make sure businesses are locked up and there's no suspicious activity going on. This morning around 315, Deputy Rowland was performing a business check of Concord Plaza. During his patrol, he noticed an odor of something burning in the area of the plaza. As it was difficult for him to find the source on his own, he quickly requested a response from Concord Township Fire Department. And after our arrival and checking several of the businesses, the firefighters did find a small fire in the kitchen of the, and I'm gonna butcher this, Ichiraku, uh, it's the Japanese noodle shop. That's right. okay. <laughs> uh, my apologies to the business. Um, the firefighters forced entry to the business and extinguished the small fire and contained it to the appliance uh, of, of uh, origin. Uh, because Deputy Roland quickly <clears throat> recognized a problem, the fire was contained to one appliance with no damage to the business. We commend De Deputy Roland and the Sheriff's Office uh, for their continued efforts to keep us safe. It was because of his actions this morning that we had a very successful outcome, not only for this business, but also the many others that could have been negatively affected had it gone unnoticed and the loss of jobs and economy in that area. So um, I think it's important to recognize uh, Deputy Roland in, the, in those efforts. Uh, and we do understand that the Japanese noodle shop that remained or opened back up today for business. Great. So it was a good outcome. Um, as far as the, uh, the fire station project, um, you know, as we as we move forward, um, we're getting closer to um, construction documents or have been submitted to the fire department. Um, they're going out to the county uh, and all the stakeholders, such as ODOT, Lake County, First Energy, uh, Dominion, Spectrum. Uh, the whole gamut. So everybody's getting their little piece of the uh, puzzle here to review. Um, and as, as we get closer to uh, having the opportunity to go to bid, um, I think it's important to, to discuss um, station sequencing in terms of which station would make the most sense to start. Um, I know we've talked at length about both stations going first and the advantages and disadvantages and uh, I've lost sleep many nights of sleep over this trying to make sure that that uh, my recommendation is is in the best interest of this township and uh, to continue protecting the residents of uh, the station two district uh, when station two is under construction um, and likewise uh, my focus is in um, logistics and making sure that we have space to put two additional firefighters, fire prevention, all their equipment, um, and another ambulance. Um, you know, if, 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 if the decision was made to start with station two, um, we'd have additional expense of having to build a, a second temporary facility for the ambulance. Uh, because I just don't have any more room to put it. Um, and that ambulance would be the primary response to Station 2 um, from Station 1. As a reminder, Station 2 will be staffed, um, the Station 2 district will be staffed 24-7, 365, with two firefighter paramedics and an ALS engine, an advanced life support engine that can do everything an ambulance can do except transport. So they can arrive, stabilize, 
and it also provides an opportunity if they get that fire call that they have a quick response that way too. Um, tonight we, we um, if it's okay with the board, I, uh, we have our owner's representative, Roger Riachi. Is this an appropriate time for him to sure. interject? Sure. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Chief. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Roger Riachi. I'm with RFC Contracting, and we're the firm that you selected to be your owner's rep uh, on the uh, fire station projects. And uh, this evening, I'd like to share with you some of uh, our recommendation on the projects and, and how to move forward uh, with them. Uh, I've spent some time with the with the chief, and he took me around. We looked at the different the both stations, both locations. Um, I've reviewed the documents that the architects have uh, set forth for us. Um, had some conversation with with Andy about the, some of the logistics, and based on all the information that we have reviewed and we have uh, analyzed and looked at from a logistics perspective as well as from a cost and, and safety perspective, our recommendation is to move forward with station number one first, get that built. Um, that will free up the existing building uh, of where station number one is at now to move some of the equipment and some of the, the staff from station number two into that particular uh, location that, that you already have. And also have a temporary location for station number two as that's being built. So, you know, your, your fire prevention bureau will be able to move into the, either the new, the new location, uh, you know, new fire station one and or the, the existing fire station number one. So from that logistical uh, perspective and, and a cost and as well as safety, our recommendation would be to build fire station number one, make the moves that we talked about and then take on, you know, tackle uh, fire station number two. Um, so that's got a, from a timing perspective as to which one to, to do first. From a bidding perspective, our recommendation is to go out to bid with uh, both fire station independently, as well as a combined bid, um, uh, give the, 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 bid, the contractors an opportunity to do a combined bid as well. That will give the, the township the opportunity to select one, one of them independently, the other one independently, and or both, depending on how the bids come in. And we would formulate that into the, the bid documents and make sure that it's clear for, for the bidders that they'll be bidding one or the other or a combined of, of both. So that's got a, our recommendation at, at this juncture based on the discussions we've had and reviewing the documents and looking at the projects and the logistics of it. And um, with that, I will take any. Is there any, any questions from uh, any trustees? The only thing I will add in terms of uh, temporary conditions for Station 2, um, we are evaluating an alternative option um, for staffing or for a location for temporary condition at Station 2. Uh, that could potentially put us off site, okay. off the construction site. Uh, but we're still evaluating that. It's still very early. Um, but, but it's something that we're, we're looking at very closely because it, it, it does appear to be appealing. So, okay. But okay. Uh, I'm sorry, just to clarify, Chief, that alternate site is still within the Station 2 yes. area of responsibility. It is. Yeah, it is. I just, just Thank to clarify. You for that. Thank you. Yes, it is in the Station 2 district. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. All right, we'll, uh, we'll move through, um, unless the board has a question for Mr. Rasher, the chief. All right, we'll continue through the agenda. If anything comes back up when we get later in voting, we'll, we'll bring it on. So uh, with that, we'll have the service department, uh, Mr. Tim Brown, come uh, to his report this evening. Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> service department hopes Everyone had a good Independence Day holiday. The, uh, the 2021 road servicing, resurfacing projects are coming along and will be finishing up shortly. Cherry Hill received the surface course uh, at the end of last week. The contractors working through a punch list of items before they call it complete. Uh, Fay Road resurfacing began. Um, the chip and seal and 
the chip and seal surface course uh, began actually today. The contractor will be making a few needed repairs to the asphalt base before chip and seal is installed in, into the other areas. Other projects within the township, trial road widening project which began last week and the milling today. Um, I did travel that around the lunchtime hour and they, they moved traffic very well through the area. So I think the businesses aren't going to have that much of an impact during that, that heavier construction phase. Um, <clears throat> the uh, other project, I'm sorry. The project uh, is a Lake County engineer project and any residents with questions or concerns, we are urging them to contact the Lake County engineer's office at 440-350-2770. The, <clears throat> the state of Ohio Department of Transportation is resurfacing Route 608 from the Geauga County line to Ravenna Road. This project began on the 6th, and the service department would like to also thank all the residents for their patience during the construction projects throughout this township. Service department crews are out making road repairs throughout the township. Concrete crews performing slab, concrete slab replacement. The asphalt crews are out crack sealing to prolong the life of the asphalt roadways. Our drainage crew is out performing ditch maintenance and stormwater improvements. Along with, other, along with culvert replacements. In between all these other projects, crews maintain the baseball fields, the community garden, parks, and some of the township buildings. Uh, this evening, the service department is requesting the trustees to approve the purchase order to Cerny Motors for the purchase of a 2022 international plow truck. This new truck will replace a 2004 Sterling plow truck. <clears throat> Residents are with questions and concerns are reminded to contact the service department Monday through Friday between 7 a.m. and 3.30 at 440-350-3225 or email us at concordtwp.com. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Thanks. Uh, zoning department, Don Seven Freeman. Good evening. So for the month of June, the zoning department staff processed 39 zoning permit applications and collected $6,200 in fees. Additionally, we performed 111 site inspections for open zoning permits and followed up on 14 new complaints about potential zoning violations. Last night, the zoning commission met for their regular meeting. They conditionally approved a site plan review and design review application for a new medical office building that's going to be constructed on Auburn Road, just south of Capitol Parkway. Um, they also continue their work sessions on the um, Residential Conservation Development District text, and they're hoping to have um, that ready to initiate and set a public hearing in the next month or two. Next week, the Board of Zoning Appeals um, will hold a regular meeting, and the detailed agenda may be found on the Township website under public meetings. Finally, um, there will be a couple open alternate positions um, for the Zoning Commission and for the Board of Zoning Appeals. If there are any residents that may be interested in serving on either one of those boards, um, Please send your letter of interest, um, which board you're interested in, and uh, a resume to either myself at hfreeman at concordtwp.com or to the trustees at trustees at concordtwp.com so for, for our consideration. Thank you. Recreation, Deborah. Good evening. Good evening. If June was any indicator of how much Concord residents are enjoying recreational programs and events like our summer concerts, then July is going to be spectacular. Here's what we got planned for residents and guests this month. All right, PowerPoint, please. Nope. <laughs> Leisure classes. Take time for yourself this summer and enroll in a leisure class for the Recreation Department. July classes include tennis camp for kids, baton twirling for kids, a martial arts program for both adults and kids, pound classes, yoga pilates fusion, gentle yoga, an introduction to the seven chakras and a class on using the seven chakras, tai chi, an introduction to ham radio, getting started with Medicare, and a ready for retirement class. Lots of classes going on at the community center. Residents and guests are welcome to register. Thank you, Rick. Uh, register for classes <coughs> online at concordtwp.com or simply call the recreation department for immediate assistance. Rick, you are wonderful. Um, clubs for everyone. Residents and guests are welcome to attend and join one of the many leisure clubs that meet at the community center. Check out our art club or our book club. Meet new friends and play a fun and friendly game of pinochle or mahjong. 
Bring your sewing or knitting project to the sewing circle and work on your craft in the company of friends. And the community band is seeking new members that play any instrument. So come and meet and see what it's all about. Clubs meet at various times throughout the week and sometimes these, those dates change. So just call the recreation department um, if you're ready to meet up and we will give you the latest and greatest times and dates that those clubs are meeting. If the weather behaves, uh, the fourth <laughs> band in our summer concert series lineup will perform at Town Hall at the gazebo tomorrow evening. So grab your lawn chairs and head over to Town Hall to hear Abbey Rodeo's American Infused Harmonies covering rock, pop, blues, surf, folk, rockabilly, and bluegrass. Not to be missed. And then on July 15th, we shift into acoustic rock and retro with the Blackjack Gypsies who play an eclectic mix of songs from Santana to Aretha to Fleetwood Mac and even a little Lady Gaga to spice things up. Our summer concerts continue, there we go, um, with a hot new band out of Mentor, Ohio that takes our stage on July 22nd. Risk Factor, featuring Mentor City Manager Ken Filipiak, plays favorite rock and country hits that span the decades, including what I believe to be Mike Lucas's favorite song called Beer Never Broken My Heart. And then on July, <laughs> then on July 29th, the Woodpeckers delight us with a variety of swing, country, folk, and good old R&B as they play songs we know and love. Concerts begin at 7 p.m., but come early to browse our handmade jewelry and other crafts made by local artisans and grab dinner and dessert from Frank's Bratz and East Coast Custard. So we warmly welcome Concord residents and guests to come and enjoy live music in the company of friends. Looking ahead to August, please be sure to mark your calendars for Thursday, August 5th for our final summer concert of the year, and we're making it pretty special. The evening begins at 5.30 with a variety of kids' activities and games. Browse handcrafted items for sale along with Chinese raffle baskets. Grab dinner from a food truck and settle in to hear a good old-fashioned button box band as Patty C and the guys delight you with upbeat, high-energy polka favorites. And then at 8 p.m., our trustees will honor the, 20, the 2021 Citizen of the Year and two other scholarship winners sponsored by a generous donation from Lake Health. Then DJ Ben gets the party started with crowd favorites and opportunities for karaoke um, and other general family-friendly shenanigans. Um, the Chinese raffle drawing takes place around 9.45 that evening, leading into our grand finale fireworks around 10 p.m. Uh, just note to everybody, we can still accommodate a few more vendors, and we're always seeking donations for our raffle baskets. So please contact the Recreation Department for more information. We are still accepting nominations for Concord Township Citizen of the Year for 2021. In order to be nominated for the Citizen of the Year, you must be a current Concord Township resident and have contributed to the enhancement of our township. The Citizen of the Year is more than just a distinguished title. The, uh, the duties include participating in the annual community events such as our Easter egg hunt, our Halloween haunt, holiday tree lighting celebrations, and, and more. Names of all citizens of the year are commemorated in a plaque showcased at the community center and are forever recorded and celebrated in our history. The deadline for nomination submission is this Friday, July 9th. So tick, tick, tick. Uh, we're also accepting applications for 2021 Concord Township Scholarship Awards sponsored by a generous donation from Lake Health. This year we're offering two scholarship awards in the amount of $1,000 each. Applicants must be a current Concord Township resident and a graduating high school senior of the class of 2021. The scholarships are awarded based in part on the applicant's um, dedication to involvement in school and community, so it's not all academic. The deadline for nominations is also this Friday, July 9th. Contact the Recreation Department with any questions or for personal assistance. Concord Township celebrates its bicentennial in 2022. Bicentennial Planning Committee has been meeting since 2018, and as you may have recently read in the News Herald, we're planning a lot of great programs and events to celebrate our vibrant community. A new Images of America book outlining Concord Township history will be available for sale in about mid-August, and currently available is Concord's own historical coloring book that can be purchased at the community center anytime and is available at the recreation table at our concerts. 
Our bicentennial celebration spans the entire year of 2022 with special events happening every month, including a special Founders Day breakfast on our shared birthday, which is March 8th. The summer of 2022 will be filled with live music and community events where residents and guests can all celebrate together. Um, and special holiday events are planned to honor our township as our bicentennial year comes to a close. So we warmly invite residents and businesses to get involved. Contact the Recreation Department for a full list of opportunities on how to do just that. And finally, uh, you've seen our posts on Facebook, asking questions about for fun, um, but also to gain some insight on resident preferences. The Concord Township Recreation Department is truly interested in hearing from our residents so we can plan programs and events that are meaningful and right in line with what you want. So we encourage residents to give us a call, email us, or just stop by the community center and just we'll have a chat. So thank you so much for your time tonight, and we'll see you at the next concert, hopefully tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Deb. Thank you. Thanks, Deb. Okay, and uh, Concord Law Enforcement Sergeant with Tommy. I'd like to nominate myself for Citizen of the Year. <laughs> uh, for the month of uh, June, we had 887 calls for service, five injury accidents, 13 property damage accidents. Uh, we had a disorderly conduct arrest and an assault arrest at BP Auburn Road, uh, female OVI on Cobblestone Court. Uh, a theft, safe cracking, and failure to comply with the uh, failure to comply on Auburn Road McDonald's. Uh, we had a motor vehicle theft on Wellesley. Uh, felonious assault, uh, stabbing, and tampering with evidence. And then a felonious assault with the tire iron at the Chipotle on Crowley Road. Those were two arrests. Uh, disorderly conduct, trespassing on Auburn Road. OVI on Ravenna Road and a felonious assault domestic violence arrest on Christina Avenue. Uh, 66 alarms, 10 citations, 71 warnings, uh, 10 uh, driving under suspensions, uh, and again, two OVIs. Uh, 72 business checks, 63 crime preventions. Uh, we had 19 animal complaints, three assault reports, uh, two breaking and enterings, uh, 11 civil complaints, uh, 26 dis disabled vehicles, uh, three disorderly conduct, uh, 14 disturbances, six domestic violence case reports, uh, two fights in progress, um, 21 hazards reported on the roadways slash trees down, uh, three juvenile complaints, uh, four mental health uh, pink slips that we take somebody to the hospital, two missing persons that, that have been resolved, uh, 12 noise complaints, one opioid overdose, one, only one shot's fired as far as people target shooting in their backyards. Uh, suspicious circumstances, and, uh, vehicles and persons, 47 of those complaints, eight theft complaints, 45 traffic complaints, 20 de uh, traffic details that were performed by the deputies to combat uh, bad driving. <laughs> Uh, three uh, criminal trespasses, four vandalisms, 24 lockouts, five warrant arrests from traffic stops and various other things, and then 13 welfare checks. Um, thank you, Concord Fire, for uh, including that posting. That was very nice of you. We appreciate it, and, and we enjoyed working with you guys as well. Um, so we, we had some old stone... Uh, the garden workers at the Old Stone School, we've uh, had some issues with a suspicious vehicle that has been parking in the parking lot, uh, making people uneasy. It's been passed on to our road patrol, uh, and they are taking care of it, and uh, uh, Deb, Debbie has been instructed on what to tell people when they do see that so we can intercept it as fast as we can. Uh, we've had the speed signs out on various roads within the township uh, where we've had the most traffic complaints. Uh, the supervisors on each uh, uh, supervisors on each platoon have been notified about where the speeding issues are and where your guys' concern is at. Uh, met with Nature Preserve uh, residents uh, to discuss like community block watch and how to make uh, things safer in their neighborhood and whatever concerns that they have. I also met with citizens on Andrea Court uh, at their annual HOA or at their HOA meeting. And then we also have block watch signs that we're going to get made up for these neighborhoods. Uh, they'll be kind of have a sheriff's office theme on them. Um, and uh, 
we'll leave it up to the community, the HOAs or the community members uh, of interest in their security little task force uh, to purchase those. So those might be going up in various neighborhoods just to have a little bit added uh, that, you know, we're out there. We're and uh, I think that's about it, unless you guys have any other concerns that you want to talk about. No, thank you for the report, and I'd like to echo the Chief's uh, praise of the Sheriff's Department for picking up on that this morning. That's great. And yeah. it's nice, Excellent. nice cooperation between the Township and the Sheriff's Department. You guys stuff. have obviously been very busy with us and doing a great job, so thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a good night. Thanks, sir. Okay, moving into the audience portion of the uh, meeting. Is there anybody in the audience that would like to speak or? Okay, and hearing none, we'll move into old business, which there is none, and that gets us into the new business. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the June financial report. I will second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mr. Chairman, I mo make a motion to approve a resolution 2021-10, a resolution by the Board of Trustees of Concord Township to authorize the township by its administrator to enter into a memorandum of understanding for the Master Cooperative Land Reutilization Agreement with the Lake County Land Reutilization Corporation. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> Mr. Chairman, I move to approve resolution 2021-11, a resolution by the Concord Township Board of Trustees to advertise for bids for the Concord Township Fire Stations project. I'll second. Uh, any discussion on that one? I know we had a, a, a informative conversation with Mr. Riachi during our staff meeting and uh, we had a summary of his report tonight. So I think we have a good recommend, uh, recommendation about this project and taking it to bid as far as the uh, the seat, the the individual bids and then the collective. Right, right. I you know, I'll start out. I think um, it's a, it's it's the next step in moving this this project forward. I think one of the big um, decisions that we had to make, which we had some discussion on today, which we started with in the stakeholder meetings when we were trying to get this project approved, was you know the sequencing of the stations one versus two or two versus one. Which way do we do it? And um, we've had a lot of discussion independently, and, and I know that uh, the chiefs had a lot of discussion with our with our owners rep. And you know, I, I agree with the, the assessment here today by um, both the chief and our owners rep, uh, Mr. Riachi, that uh, it, it appears to be in the best interest of the township um, to do station one first. Um, the explanation for that is one. Um, a very important one is it gives us the ability to continue to pr protect the residents of the township and conduct, conduct our safety business during construction. Um, it, it is, it's a cost savings for us not having to logistically move uh, staff and, and an ambulance to another location and, and erect um, temporary housing facilities. And it makes sense to do station one first and complete that and have the ability to move um, our station two people into a building that we already have that it'll, that'll be vacant at that point in time, seeing that we're going from one station to the other in, in, in the project. So, you know, to me, I, I, it's important to listen to the recommendations of not only the chief, but the owner's rep who has worked on um, stations and uh, multiple projects at the same time simultaneously and one after the other and I think you know the important recommendations that he made pointed out um, after the review of the architectural documents is the, the logistics perspective and the cost and safety perspective and I think cost and safety is, is imperative um, to our community and it's something that we promised the, uh, in our stakeholder meetings that we would do as far as moving these projects forward and there you know I agree that you know the best decision is to would be to start with station one first and, and to move, move the project along. So I just wanted to clarify that we were we were looking at item C, correct? Yeah. And we're just kind of jumping into the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was. Okay, I just wanted to just clarify. Go from a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Um, I guess then to continue along that 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 line, um, I, I I wanted to hear from our 
owner's rep and of course chief and kind of understand where they think logistically it makes sense and from that perspective it makes sense to me obviously we know we have to displace some of our departments and it's easier to not do that more than one time it's nice to have a transition area with station one still there while we work on station one first and then station two so that that part does make uh, sense to me as well I think as far you know I, I know that in the uh, when we talked to Mr. Raj at length during the staff meeting that the conversation came up about getting it out to bid sooner than later uh, I know that we had talked about the pros and cons and the financial and sequencing and everything but as far as getting it out there I, I recall um, we talked about costs and timelines for construction and you know I'm in manufacturing we know that, that everybody's seeing demand and supply chain and labor issues and all of that so I, if I recall because from our meeting a week or two ago that we had talked about getting out there sooner than later to get in line to get ahead of some of this stuff and to, to to put this project on the best footing and that I think that's where we came up with the idea to bid them individually I um, mean I know it was Mr. Rashi's recommendation and we as we were talking through things he proposed doing them one at a time and then simultaneously and when those bids come in it gives us an opportunity to um, we have options we have options um, it gives the township some uh, ways to uh, to pivot and to, and, and to kind of be fluid in this and, and, and and make a, a wise decision to what Carl was saying about um, safety and, and being responsible from a cost standpoint. So I definitely think it's uh, appropriate to get this thing out to bid sooner than later, uh, just based on that kind of stuff. We don't want this to, to get strung out. So, um, yeah, and I also think it's responsible as far as the way we bid it. You know, combined and and independent. Yeah, that we can you know evaluate those and see what see if there's an opportunity for right. savings or not. Right, and right. I know that, that, so that. Yeah, I thought that was a brilliant <laughs> idea. Yeah, I, I think so too. Well, so, um, all right then. Um, all in favor of approving the resolution? I, I, do we, I, I missed the motion. motion. Oh, did we? I'm sorry. Did we have a? Uh, no, we didn't. I, I didn't have a Mrs. Motion. Lucci made the I motion. Mr. Okay. Dondor for a second made the motion, yeah, and then they went into discussion. Thank you. Yeah. So we just need a vote. So all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Uh, I okay. Um, Maybe I think you're up on D. She's got to make a motion. Oh, she doesn't have to. Oh, she doesn't. No. I'll make a motion to approve resolution 2021 12, a resolution declaring the necessity for street lighting in Quail Hollow number 10, phase 2, an unincorporated area of Concord Township, Lake County, Ohio. I second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 I move to approve resolution 2021-13, which is the revised permanent appropriations. I'll second. And uh, did roll call on that one? Mr. Dondorfer. Yes. Mr. McIntosh. Yes. Mrs. Lucci. Yes. Thank you very much. to approve the service department's purchase order to Cerny Motors Incorporated in the amount of 161359 for the purchase of a 2022 international two and a half ton plow truck. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to approve res resolution 2021-13, the revised Permanent. We did that. No, we did that. We did. Yeah, we're done. Yeah. Yeah. That was the roll call. So we're on to. So we. With respect to um, discussion with regards to sequencing, um, I, we've had a recommendation from our rep and we had some good conversation. Um, just to maybe clarify from my. Um, Law director, do we have? We don't actually. We didn't actually need to vote as far as the sequence. There's nothing we would require legislation for that. So no, um, no, you're not taking any official action per se regarding the. Other and than and I guess authorizing the uh, administrator to put out for bid. Okay, so now that we're getting it out to bid, um, I, I I guess I would ask uh, just for a little clarification by the Mr. Riachi or for Chief Sable, would it matter at this point if we 
have that or do you need a, a definitive decision from us now before we go to bid or when would we need to really make that sequencing conversation? You could make the, the decision once all the bids are in and okay. when, when, you, when you're awarding them. Okay. Um, any thoughts on making the, I, it seems to me we've had a pretty solid recommendation, a good conversation as far as sequencing any pros and cons one way or the other on one versus two first. I know Carl said you could have uh, one. Yeah, like I, I mentioned, I agree logistically it sounds favorable to do one first. Right. I know going back to 2019 when the, the prior board sort of took that project on, that was kind of the thing. And I know through the stakeholder meetings, we had a lot of conversation. And at one point, there was conversation about housing the folks over the station, two folks here not even having a presence. And, the community clearly made made it clear to the chief that that wasn't something that was acceptable and we've we've adjusted to that um right. but i think the core of that plan in having that old larger facility available since we're going to demolish two uh gives us that resource and i definitely agree that uh, with mr Raj's recommendation so um, i think it's safe to say that the port seems to be pretty unanimous in the idea of doing station one first so um if that, if that is as close to a decision as we've got since there's no vote, uh, seems like that's the direction we're headed. Um, Mr. Chair, yes. uh, real quick, uh, for, I guess for the owner's representative, Mr. Riachi, when we go out for bid, don't we need to, in the combined uh, bid where we're going to bid out, you know, you're going to have contractors bid on station one or bid on station two, but the combined one, would it be more prudent to tell them which station to build first? Otherwise, yeah. I, that's, when we that's put, yes. When we do, when we put the schedule together, when we put the bid documents together, that's the way we're gonna we're gonna uh, advertise it okay. as to which one is gonna be con constructed first. Right. But as far as the awards and accepting one, two, or both, you don't have to make that decision till all the bids are in. Right, but for, but we'll need a decision for the bid documents of that for the so sequencing that for the sequencing. Correct. So we do need a sequencing decision before we go to bid, sir. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Well, it seems to me we I guess we we have that the board seems unanimous in doing one first for the purpose of that um, project. So I I for that scenario. So I would would say that's the decision that we've okay. Put Thank you. Here. Um, and as much to keep that going forward. Um, and I, I would like to address the board for one minute. Um, I, we did in the administrator's report, and I apologize for kind of letting this slide at the end, but we had a recommendation from our administrator to table or just put aside for now the, the township-wide trash hauler contract. And we, we haven't done anything formally. We haven't submitted a proposal to anyone. We don't have bids. Um, and so much as we've gotten the feedback, I think, that we have. Um, I don't know if anyone has thoughts on it. I know we've all fielded calls. Um, I, I probably heard a pretty blended leaning a little bit away from it. Um, as much as that surprises me, uh, when we've seen some of the, the yard waste decision we made in the recycle, people are like probably a lot more, but um, they don't want they don't want they want to pick their own trash hauler. It seems to be very uh, people seem very strong in that. Uh, I've even gotten that we live in a township. I live here because I want less government, which right. surprised me because so many people always refer to Concord as a city, but. Yeah, you know, initially when it, when it came up, and I know we've all had several conversations with residents, it seemed, you know, like a, a decent idea, you know, cost savings to residents, um, one trash hauler, less um, less trucks on, on the township roads. Um, but, you know, the more contact that I had with, with residents in the community, you know, they like to have that choice. Yep. You know, I, I, they like to support, you know, maybe the, maybe the small, Know, mom and pop type trash hauler they're very they're very um they rely a lot on the customer service that was a big thing i heard was you know they they, they, they like the customer service with their trash hauler and you know it came down to you know like you said you know why is the township getting involved it seems yeah. to be a little bit of an overreach as far as you know government overreach and, and it, when it comes down to it i just i, I think we just you know leave the decision to the individual resident well i heard you know a little bit of in favor and probably more against and simply because of the fact that not everybody recycles not everybody does anything with their yard waste so for, for those residents it may not be you know, worth it and to, to 
put everybody in sort of one basket may not be the best decision for, for everybody. I, I think we're here to represent you know, the community as a whole and taking into consideration all that, I agree. I just, as much as I looked at it fiscally and said, hey, we can save some money and bring a, lot, a higher level of service to the community when people don't want it, I'm not really in favor of pursuing it. So I'd, I'd be comfortable if we put that one aside, Mr. Rose. Yes, sir. We'll shelve it. All right. And uh, with that, um, that kind of wraps up our agenda for the evening other than the future meetings, future meetings and announcements. Mrs. Dawson. Thank you, Mr. McIntosh. On July 14th at 7 p.m., uh, Board of Zoning Appeals will hold their meeting here at Town Hall. On the 21st of July from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m., trustees' office hours will be held in the conference room at Town Hall. And at 7.30 p.m., trustee meeting here in Town Hall. All right, and with that, we shall end. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, he'll just read it.